a sword fight. You must think first, before you move. I'm ready. Coming from where we did, the average black man is either dead or in prison by 30. Stick to the music. It's better odds. Leo D, we gotta talk. Wu-Tang, it's the only way we can get to a better future. Look, I got more miles to feed. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look. Today we've got Alex C and Riza here talking about the second season of Wu-Tang and American Saga airing on Hulu. How did you keep your cast and crew united during this extended hiatus? Well, first of all, our cast and our crew, we love what we do. Uh, you know, we have good relations with each other. It's tough, but I can honestly say, you know, coming to work, there's a there's a certain joy to it. You know, we shoot this show, we shot, we shoot on the East Coast, you know, New York, New Jersey area, and a lot of people lived it. And I think when I look at my crew, they're actually reliving their own childhood telling the story. And when I look at the cast, they're young men who gets to embody the Wu-Tang and bring a form of inspiration to the world that's always needed. Yeah, Alex, talk to me about some of the changes that are happening for season two. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, like we've been saying, this has actually always been our plan, to be perfectly honest with you, from how we paced season one to where we were going to go, you know, in season two and how we were going to expand. So we were always, you know, prepared for that. And we always had kind of the big ideas, you know, as you saw with some of our episodes in season one and to continue to expand on those you know, doing episodes with bigger ideas, you know, and having each episode kind of be in its own, you know, ecosystem, you know. Um, and we were really excited to do that with, we had, we feel like we got some, some real special episodes this year, you know, beyond the fact that we're telling, you know, the story just conceptually. Um, we were really excited just to, to do that and share that with the world. And even more excited that we were able to do those things during COVID because that, that was the initial scare, like, all right, you know, are we going to have to compromise on those things? But we were, we were lucky we had a great team that, you know, dug in their heels and there's no way we're not going to try and do the things that you guys want to do. One of the things I think everybody is most excited about, Riza, is that we're going to get a deeper look into the creation of 36 Chambers this season. What was really important for you to portray with this moment? so many things that's important. First of all, seeing the guys in the studio together and complimenting each other and wanting to outdo each other. This friendly competition energy, uh, I think is special and it really comes through the screen. Um, I can't wait for the audience to see the recording of Method Man because it was funny how we had to plug our, we had to plug into like another electric box just to get electricity. And to have the audience relive that and to see Dave East embody Method Man and kick that song, man, it's going to be so much fun. There are a lot of changes also musically. I mean, you, you got that Emmy nom last year and uh, I'm, I'm curious, how does this show continue to help you grow as an artist? Oh man, this is one of the greatest artistic endeavors of my life, you know, you know, being a director is one thing. I thought that was it. But, you know, being a co-showrunner with my partner, Alex C, there's so many creative muscles moving in my body. I could be like the guy from uh, Marvel, the leader. With the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or MODOK. Or MODOK, right? <laughs> <laughs> New episodes of Wu-Tang and American Saga air Wednesdays on Hulu. Make sure you check it out. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. Hey, yo, you really think we're going to make it? We're going to make it. You got to come in, sword swinging, guns blazing. You're about to be the next biggest star. Change this entire industry. 